Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the Christmas period and New Year period. Some busy, 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 busy times ahead uh, for us, and it's for every other team this season. But we've got the first of two videos against Liverpool. Now, I'll tell you the reason why we've got two matches in a row against Liverpool. In between, we're going to sim the game with Middlesbrough, so we're going to sim the game after this particular first one. And then on the 28th, we go to Anfield for the final match of 2016. And then on New Year's Day, we've got some cup tie football back as we go to Field Mill to play to play um, Mansfield in the FA Cup. And we'll be able, and we're going to take this very seriously, so every cup tie FA Cup tie will be will be shown on the channel and then obviously we've got an away trip to Norwich a home match with Spurs an away match with Everton and another home match with Aston Villa maybe sandwiched in between that another cup tie as well on the 21st so some some very big games to come plus the January transfer deadline as well we'll have all that throughout January and then obviously hopefully we have some good games coming up there, so plenty of good episodes there. Two Manchester clubs to come at Turf Moor during uh, February. Sandwiched in between away matches at um, Watford and West Ham. And of course we end the season um, of course we'll end the season at Southampton. Hopefully being presented with the but what a nice home match to finish off. But we've got some glamour now. We're going to go to the uh, to, to the turf more now, where we take on Liverpool, who have who have dropped to the mid regions of the table. So Jurgen Klopp knows he's got a job on here against John Stutzy's all-conquering Clarets at the moment, with 44 points, and with their former striker Danny Ings top scorer with 15, it's going to be it's going to be a tough old night for Klopp's men. Let's join it right from the start. Let's go to Turf Moor and join a 22,000 strong crowd for Burnley against Liverpool. <laughs> Compliments of the season to you all. I know in real life we're a couple of months off proper Christmas, but this is the Christmas period now in terms of football. And obviously this Christmas Eve, Burnley and Liverpool fans have a lot to look forward to with two fixtures against each other within 10 days. This is the Burnley lineup. It's done changed from that crushing victory over Norwich the other day. Last week, all 11 players keeping their places and keeping the likes of Bellerin, Gray and Boyd out of the team. As for Liverpool, Adam Bogdan preferred in goal, but they've got to watch these two strikers up front. Mario Balotelli and Christian Benteke Oh, a real handful. Jordan Henderson and James Milner, of course. Very, very good as well. And Burnley, the best home record yet to lose one game. And, of course, scored 23 points from their nine games at Turf Moor so far. So that's the task facing Jurgen Klopp on his side today. Referee from, from actually from Merseyside, but no biases, I'm sure, attached to it. He's Mike Dean. And away we go. Liverpool in the change shirt of all white. Burnley need I remind you in claret and blue. Burnley's actual injury worry at the moment is um, the centre back Scott Dan. He's out for two months. He won't be back until at least February. And that's the only injury concern that Liverpool uh, Burnley rather have. It's right, Gale. Barton. Well, of course, yet to drop a point or to drop a defeat here at Turf Moor today, this season. This is a testament to them as John Flanagan comes up against his parent side. Tries to sneak it past down and bog down that time. Now, Tony beaten in the air. Here's Inks against his old club. A fabulous goal! 1 0! And what a pre-Christmas cracker from Danny Ings against his old side. And Turf Moor has erupted. What a goal. Oh, it was... Smith who won the header and the shot coming in from all of 30-odd yards. And Adam Bogdan, as soon as Hinks hit this, 
was backpedaling in all the while and he was very slow to react but what a super goal he seemed to be no danger when things that fly there but it certainly was when Bogdan was back by the wind, and he knows he was beaten by a super goal from Inks. And what a super way pre Christmas to bring up goal number 16 of the season in the league. And Burnley, who lead in the first of a double header against Liverpool, sandwiched in between that and away match up at Middlesbrough. Well, Jurgen Klopp would not have expected that. John Stutchy punched the air with absolute delight when that went in. And here's Barton. Inks. That was not one of his better balls. Martin Skirtle down for Liverpool, but really that's got the game. That's just what the game needed, really. A super goal like that. And you couldn't have wrote the script there for Danny Inks. What a tremendous goal against the team that let him go back to Turf Moor. Liverpool have a throw. Benteke, the little crossing there, towards the back post, and Milner can't turn it goal as Balotelli was also waiting in the middle. And may have been better place to... Milner may have been better advice to not that in, but what a super goal there. Oh. And to do it right in front of 4,000 Liverpool supporters was an absolute dream for Inks, who hadn't had the best of times at Anfield last season. My goodness, he's repaying them a bomb or two there. This is what I'm capable of for Liverpool. And this is what you're missing. As Joey Barton tries to emulate that, he scored a special goal of his own against Manchester City, against one of his own uh, sides earlier on in the season. And the way things are going, Engs and Barton may well be having a personal duel for goal of the season, the Clarence goal of the season competition which would be something fantastically special Jordan Knight knocking it forward Ings touching it on, Bentaleb Chelsea one up against Newcastle who have been in form up until a couple of weeks ago Diego Costa with the goal Jordan Knight Balassi a little stabbing towards the area but Sacco can get it away up towards Balotelli well, what can the uh, Maverick Italian do here? Oh, wonderful skill there by Valatelli. And what a good move that is. And Milner should have equalised. Well, that's the best move that Liverpool have put together so far this afternoon. Valatelli playing it in superbly to James Milner. And Milner really should have made it one each. But he hasn't. And it's a goal kick. Henderson's header, now Milner. Touched in there towards Kent, number eight. Henderson, use and find again back to Tom Heaton. And a lovely kick and go, and Ings is onto it. Can he get his second goal? Well, he's got the taste for it now, Danny Ings. He wants to really bury his old side here today. And unfortunately, unlike the first effort that went sailing in, he got the contact of the shot all wrong. And take his flick. Ivers there for Liverpool, up for Burnley rather, but it's given away to Balotelli. Now Kent. And Teki trying to keep on side. Balassi intercepting superbly for the Clarets as we come up towards the final five minutes of the first half. Bentaleb. Flanagan, who's keeping Hector Bellerin out of the side superbly well at the moment. Lovely one-touch stuff here, and here's Bentaleb now on the on the near side. And lovely cross there towards Jordan now, towards uh, Dwight Gale in the end, I think. Uh, he's certainly got the skills there, but he yet to score for the Clarets, but uh, his performances have been superb. Certainly puts a lot of effort in, in the game. Henderson. Benteke to Kent. Trying to play the 1 2 to Benteke, but it's again mocked up again by the Burnley defence. Long kick which will run into touch for a throw. Deep into those two added minutes that were added on by the fourth official at the end of the first half. 
And referee Mike Dean brings the first half to a close, but a goal of the half that was marked by a super 30-yard strike, which caught Adam Bogdanov well and truly back penalty from Danny Ings. And that is the difference at the moment. James Milner could have equalised for Liverpool, but Burnley lead by that terrific goal to nil. Welcome back to Turf Moor as we get on with the second half. No changes from either side. Liverpool now attacking the goal where Danny Ings scored that tremendous goal early on in the first half. A 30 yard cracker. And that's a sweetly in the net. And Barton now tries to emulate that, but he's hit that well wide. Well, it's a game that we will not be showing because uh, we're going to sim it. But the next game after that, certainly in the next episode, will be against Liverpool at Anfield for that second one. West Ham 1, Tottenham 0. I'll let you know how we get on with Middlesbrough at the end of the programme. The end of the episode... At this end, end of this episode, here's Ben Teke though. He played in, but I was there. Hughes. Harari. Kent. Ben Teke. That's a good run. And that's a poor finish from Christian Ben Teke, and he knows it. Going to be a Liverpool change 10 minutes into the second half as we see Ben Teke. He just slips there as he. Goes to hit the shot. In fact, Mario Balotelli is the man coming off, and uh, Danny Sturridge is going to replace him there. Disappointment, really, for Balotelli. He didn't really get into the game today. Maybe from Jurgen Kott's point of view, maybe Danny or Sturridge might. Hit him with a kick. Still 1-0 to Burnley. The goal from Danny Ings against his old side. Here's Sturridge now for Liverpool. Now Kent. Back to Sturridge once again. Good running there by Danny Sturridge. And against the crossbar. And Smith trying to get it away. And Heaton just about succeeds in doing so. But Daniel Sturridge there almost immediately almost making an impact there for Liverpool. But now at the other end we've got Dwight Gale now. Trying to curl one. But it's an easy one for Bogdan. Now Darian... Saving comfortably there, but Sturridge, the England man, forcing the issue there by hitting the crossbar for Liverpool. Here's Balassi. Still going, Balassi. Still going, Balassi. Go kick. Liverpool about to make a second change. Back in between their double header with Burnley. They've got a home match with Southampton on Boxing Day. Second change, Ryan Kent, the youngster, to be replaced by the Brazilian, uh, Philip Coutinho. And he's got 25 minutes to get Liverpool back in the game. And it's going to be Adam Bogdan with the goal kick for Liverpool then. The trail by that goal to nil. And Teke with a little flick on. Henderson back to Ben Teke. And Ben Teke trying to go all the way, but again... Easy one there for Tom Heaton. And the Burnley captain hoists it clear. Gale with a header, but he's only into the path of Henderson. Liverpool, remember, in, in ninth or tenth spot in the league at the moment, which is nowhere near where the supporters would want to see them at the moment. That's a good ball by Dwight Gale. And then throws it back. To, we'll try to get it back there towards uh, Yannick Barassi. And the offside flag has gone up, but the referee could have played on. Liverpool had the possession. I think the, the Leisman was right to flag through offside because he was offside, Balassi, but I think the referee could have just played an advantage there because Liverpool had the ball and I think Bogdan rather kicked away from his hands. Here's Sturridge now, but he's got a man free. Oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous indeed. Oh, and Coutinho should have equalised. Well, you can't say Liverpool haven't had chances in this game. Because they certainly have, and Coutinho has wasted the best of the lot. Well, Sturridge has hit the crossbar. Coutinho, the Brazilian, has just hit it over. And Burnley is still hooked by Craig Carini. Why not? Terrific goal in the, early in the first half by Danny Ings. Born a mistake there by Heaton. 
And it's following out of his goal. And how has he missed that Ben Teke? Oh, that was an amazing miss there. All he had to do was side foot it into the empty net. And then instead of which he's hoisted, hoisted it and almost out of the stand. In fact, there might have been a deflection on that. So if it was, it was great defending there. But it was a terrible miss though from Penteki's point of view, even though it was blocked. Should have been the equalizer. Oof. Well, Burnley getting away with a few let offs at the moment as Gale tries to play in innings and his time is run superbly. Can he make it safe now for Burnley? Yes, he can! That surely wins it now for the Clarets. They've waved it all the burn of Liverpool pressure in the second half. Had the cross bar hit, Panteki had one kicked away, off, headed away off the line a few moments ago. And as Liverpool pushed bodies forward, Danny Ings timed that beautiful pass from Dwight Gale superbly. The run was superb. And he rifles it past standing bog down to make it 2 0. That's goal number 17 of the season, and that was a more typical Ings goal. Than the, than the first one he got. So Burnley two up. Tough one, Liverpool really have been the better side in the second half, but sometimes in football, if you don't take your chances, you don't win. And that's exactly what's going to happen to Liverpool here now, because Burnley, when they've had their chances, they certainly took theirs. Smith found it out by Sturridge though. Here's what Henderson, but he can't get it past Barton. Hughes knocking it on. Now Gale. Can Ings complete the hat trick? Bogdan. Oh! He's got lucky there, Bogdan. He just slid in there. He hit Ings in the chest. And luckily for Bogdan, it bounced out of play for a Liverpool throw, but it could have been so much worse for him. A real poor impression there of uh, the ultimate sweeper keeper, Manuel Neuer, of course, the Bayern Munich and German international. Here's Coutinho now, playing into Osako. Coutinho again, good tackle there by Barton. The boys loose, however, though. And it's Ben Teke chipping it in. Jordan Knipe trying to get it away. Final whistle! Barely a one, and give their fans a pre Christmas present. And three crucial points there wrapped up, but it was a hard move. They had to make Webby Weber of it. Danny Ings with two goals, won a superb 35 yard cracker. The second one, a typical Ings goal, timing his run to a perfection, keeping on side before right wing pass Bogdan. Liverpool before that had hit the crossbar. Bentecchio missed the sitter, but they were made to pay for their missed chances. And it's Burnley who stay clear at the top of the league tonight. Final score then at turf four. Burnley 2, Liverpool 0. What a tremendous victory there for the Clarets and what a way to end. Uh, what a way to go into Christmas now with a victory over Liverpool. That's just the first of two games against Liverpool, but Burnley won the home 1 2 0. And before you say anything, Dylan Stewart, that victory is very hard earned. The way Liverpool came out in the second half and really had a goal, especially when Sturridge came on, they looked a lot more of a threat. And and Sturridge could have equalised, and Coutinho could have equalised, and Benteke could have equalised, and then Danny Ings put the game to bed with a classic counter-attack. So let's run through the Christmas Eve results then. A big game up in the mid down in the Midlands today at Villa Park, where Villa have dragged West Ham back into it. Have dragged West Brom even further in trouble, their Midlands rivals, with a 2 0 win at Villa Park. Burnley, of course, beating Liverpool, as you've seen, by the same scoreline. Chelsea 1, Newcastle 0. Manchester City 2, Everton 1. Norwich and Southampton drew 1-1. One, one. Southampton 2, Manchester United 0. Big win there for Southampton and a big win there from our point of view as well because United were still up there in the top three. Now they've fallen adrift to Manchester City. Now we're closest rivals at the moment. Sunderland 2, Cardiff City 1. Swansea won, Stoke City won, so a draw down in South Wales. Watford, a big result there at Vicarage Road. 1 0 against Arsenal, tremendous result for them. And West Ham won, Tottenham 0. And this is what the table reads going into Christmas. It's still six points to gap, but Burnley are top at Christmas with 47 points. 
City with 41, United now three further back on 38 with that defeat. With that defeat today, Newcastle in fourth place, Swansea in fifth. And at the bottom, that win for Aston Villa really gives them a real shot in the arm. But Arsenal still struggling at the moment at the wrong end. 16th position and could well be in danger of being dragged into a relegation fight. And then Norwich in 17th. Then you've got West Brom and Middlesbrough on 13 points each. And West Ham winning a game as well. So they've won their second game. So that was the situation going into Christmas. Now we play Christmas Day. And we sim this game with Middlesbrough. And then we'll also bring you the Boxing Day results as we get them. And it finished nil-nil, but Joey Barton picked up a slight knock. But a point at Middlesbrough is not, not to be sniffed at. The gap is still six points. Well, let's have a look at what happened there in regards to the fixtures then. These were the, the Boxing Day fixtures. And now this follows Aston Villa really giving Arsenal a real hard time at it at the moment. Arsenal deep in trouble now. 2-0 defeat against Aston Villa and now moving up the table very, very quickly indeed. Cardiff 1-22, the big derby down in Wales. Everton 1, Watford 0. So Watford back down on earth after that uh, Christmas Eve win over Arsenal. Liverpool 0, Southampton 2. So they've got some work to do when they... When we visit them in the next game. United back in it now. Back to winning ways. 2-1 against Chelsea. Uh, Burnley and Middlesbrough. The Carrots and Middlesbrough drew 0-0. Uh, uh, Newcastle 2. Sunderland 2 in the time, uh, in the time we had Derby. Spurs and Manchester City shared a 2-2 draw. Stoke and West Ham 1-1. And West Brom in bigger trouble now. Because this was a game they really needed to win against Norwich. And they've lost it. 2-1. So... West Ham now starting to pick up a few points, which is quite good. So let's see what that means is now with the table now going into the final round of matches for the calendar year. Burnley still top by six points. Now moved to 48 points. City drew as well. But United have closed the gap on City. They're now on to 41. Newcastle stay fourth, but only a point ahead of Swansea now. At the wrong end of the... And look at Aston Villa now flying up the table. They're now a massive eight points clear of Middlesbrough in 18th. But look at Arsenal now. Look at them. They're looking down the barrel here of a, a really poor season at the moment. I've only won five times out of 19. But look at that. They've lost 11 out of the 19 they played. They've got a poor goal difference as well. Wenger must be tearing his hair up. They are four points above the bottom three. Middlesbrough, West Ham and West Brom. West Ham now off the bottom. They're starting to pick up points slowly away. And it's West Brom who could be in danger of being marooned there. But at the moment, Arsenal are the team that you think are most vulnerable at the moment. Cardiff as well. They're looking over the shoulders. But Watford and Norwich and Villa have all had good weeks. Liverpool aren't out of the woods yet. Anybody from Liverpool downwards could be, well be looking over their shoulders and uh, could be brought in a relegation battle. And there's three main famous names down there right above that trap door. So there you go. But uh, that's the situation in the Premier League as we go towards the 28th of... Um, and uh, there is some bad news, I'm afraid. Joey Barton will be out for four months, but that means... And, of course, no Bento. So we're going to have a week in midfield. I'm certain now for the... I'm certain now for the... Uh, Liverpool game. There's plenty, obviously, problems at, uh, with the reserve players at the moment. But we need not concern ourselves with that at the moment. Because it's Liverpool next up. And you'll be able to see that in the next video. But for now, thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon. I'll keep subscribing because it's without you, the subscribers would not be coming in their droves. Thank you very much indeed for that. Okay then, take care. And we'll see you for the Liverpool game on the 28th of uh, December, the halfway mark of the season. Till then, it's rough.